Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the glitch. So to see the glitch in action, you gotta go down, all the way down on cutscenes into either Dark Servants, Ashes to Ashes, or the last cutscene bias, which I don't remember the name. So then you watch what Dark Servants. You are not free. And from here, this I'll speed up this a little bit until around there. So from here, uh, this is an in-game cutscene, and around this place, the cutscene transitions into a a pre-render cutscene. Everything is complete for your arrival. So, if I can get, uh, this is the frame of transition, so that's 68th, I need to get uh, 22 before that, so that's going to be 40, 46. So then you press start on that frame, and that's the only frame it's going to work. Okay, and then you cancel Everything. this part. So now the glitch should be active, and we can know this if I... On pause, I'm gonna crash. There you go. It's a crash or a soft lock, though frames are not advancing, so I guess it's a crash. Uh, so that means the glitch is active. Though if you're in console, you cannot do that, of course, because you're gonna crash. So you kind of want to use the glitch, uh, but there's no way to tell the glitch if it's active or not. By the way, so you, you just gotta try another cutscene. So some of the stuff you can do is the most obvious and useful is skipping uh, you watch the end of Pius and you're gonna notice this cutscene is happening on this room uh, this is well you can't really see it but this is the room we are currently on there you go so that's Roberto's room cutscene is happening here and once you cancel this you teleport back to Alex so it's a chapter skip, basically. And because all the flags that you need for the next chapter, like this for instance, um, all those flags are set up once you read Roberto's page, and pretty much every page. Uh, you read the page, the flags are uh, active. So if you skip the chapter, those flags will still be active here in Alex, it's, it's fine. So that's a chapter skip. Uh, another interesting thing you can do is on you can go to Maximilian's Dark Duty. And there's several things you can do here. So if you cancel immediately, you're gonna go back to the game and nothing will happen. If you wait a little bit until the camera changes, uh, you can teleport. into this room uh, so this is Alex version of this room but this is Roberto's chapter so this doesn't have anything it doesn't have b-proms or anything nothing works here though if you do this on Alex the room will work normally and that's a way to skip it's like a, an alternative way to skip uh, Edward uh, the other option is waiting a little bit more until we see Max in the cutscene. So there. Then Max. So if you cancel here, you're gonna teleport to Max version of this room. And again, there's nothing here. Because this is not Max chapter. If you go here on Max, there's actually at least a, a beep rom on the door and you can get out of the room, but it's not useful. Um, and yeah, some stuff, uh, you can teleport on a lot of chapters. If you do this, the, the trick on, on Paul, you can teleport to several parts of Paul chapter. Um, you can teleport to the bell room, uh, to the end, uh, the part of the bone thieves. You can teleport to Mantrog on Lindsay and Elia. Uh, there's stuff like that. 
You can also teleport an Edward, but that's kind of useless. And another thing you can do is you can watch the epilogue on Pius fight at the end after doing the glitch. And if you do it, uh, that will teleport you immediately to the credits. So, yeah, that's a short explanation of cutscene storage.